Good morning. Julius Hurst, your realtor and friend with Lopez and Hurst Realty. Coming to you this Saturday morning, June 13th, 2020. Can't believe it's already mid-June, how the year has gone. We're here today, hope you all had a very nice week. We're here to go over the results, the analysis for this past week, ending on June 12th. It was a so-so week, not, not great improvement, but still in the process. For a week, we have 1,903 new listings. That's 18 less than we had last week, and we, that puts us at 44% of where we, we had last year at this time. The homes that were put back on the market, that for, for some reason they were removed and now they're put back on the market, we had 483. That's 149 less than we had last week, and that puts us at 62% of where we were last year. So total ads, total new homes listed to the market, we, we had 2,386. That puts us at 167 less than last week. So that's a step down. And it brings us to 47% of where we were last year. As you recall, last week we were at 50%. So new contracts, listings that were put under new contract this week, 857 homes. That is 61, 61 higher than we were last week, and it puts us at 60% of where we were last year. So it's a, it's a good, good increase in, in new homes hitting the market. Homes that were actually closed, closed sales, we had uh, 806. That's 74 less than we had last week, and it puts us at 42% of where we were last year. We also had homes that they were sold still in the pending stage that they haven't closed yet. We had 1,156. That puts us at 122 better than last week. Brings us to 67% of where we were last year. That's, that's a good indication there. That means the new homes that were sold, those will show up in the next few months or weeks that will show up in the closed homes. So progress is there. Homes are moving. People are showing. People are looking to buy. We've had a lot of activity in that sense. So total homes in inventory, it, it went up. So uh, we have uh, 32,019 homes now for sale in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. Those are single family homes, condominiums, villas. So 332,000, actually that's, that's really 239 less homes than we had at, at this time last week. So homes, homes are selling. So for stats, out, out of those homes that, that did sell, the square footage, the average square footage for the week was 2,111. That's up 189 from, from last week. And it's um, higher than it was in 2019. 2019, we had 2,075. So it's just a matter of a few homes, maybe the sold that were more bigger homes. Just, just a stat. So listing price. Listing price, the average listing price for the week was 519877 That's $72,000 higher than it was last week. And it's, uh, for example, 2019, it, it was 418000 It's It's $101,000 higher than it was at this point last year. The uh, listing price per square foot was 24581 compared to 201 for uh, last week. The sale price, the actual sale price was 483,000. That is 64,000 higher than last week. So the uh, selling prices are also growing, going up. Last year was 399,000, so an increase in price. So, this obviously tells us that on an average, the prices are going up. That's, 200, that makes, that's for $228 a square foot. $228 compared to $217 for last week and $192 for last year. That is, uh, now the, uh, the selling price is 93% on an average of the asking price. So whatever the asking price was, 93% was the sale price, so it is going down. Last week it was 93.7, last year it was 95. So 
there's a little bit of a reduction there. Interest rates remain the same as last week, 338 and 263. 338 for a 30-year mortgage, 2.63 for a 15-year mortgage. Both of those are quite a bit lower than they were last year. So uh, that, is, that is our recap. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a very nice week, very nice uh, weekend this week. And uh, we'll be here t next week. And again, we're always here for you. If you're thinking about selling, we could give you an approximate uh, selling price comparison, comparison to what's been selling in your area now after the pandemic and possibly what you could pos get sell your home for. If you're looking to buy, now's the time. If you let me know what area you're looking, the price range, we'll be glad to send you homes that are available. And we could show the homes uh, via the internet, uh, visual home search, a vi visual, or we could take you and visit. A lot of homes are empty, so it's easy to get in there. We'll take our precautions and uh, we'll do what we have to do. So with that, have a pleasant week and we'll see you next week.